Welcome back, Brick Maniacs, to another episode of Brick Mania TV. Sweater sewed. You are wearing a sweater. I am wearing a sweater because it's October. This is fitting. Hashtag Red October Bricks. If you use that, you'll be entered into a contest to potentially win a prize. Yeah, or multiple. <gasps> or multiple prizes. Yeah, cool. Cody? Yes, sir. You have the T14 today. The T14 <laughs> Ar 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 Armada? Armada, yeah. Armada. That's right. Yeah. Tell us about the extensive history that you know about. Super extensive history. It was in a parade? There is none, yeah. <laughs> it was in a parade in 2015. Highly, highly effective. <laughs> yeah. Highly effective. Highly Actually, effective. one of them broke down during the parade. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't, don't die. Okay. Yeah, there, there virtually is no history on the Armada. But it's this been is a known the, conflicts. And, this is the next generation of tanks. Yeah, supposedly it's the best in the world. It's a generation ahead of any other tank in its time. Um, and it does have some really awesome technological features. Yeah? Yeah. Like what? Well, it has an unmanned turret. Oh. Which I think even the U.S. has, I think a lot of countries have experimented with that. The U.S. kind of experimented with that before they developed their Abrams tanks. Yeah. But they determined that the user kind of got disoriented. You're driving forward and then you're looking sideways in your viewport or whatever. It just kind of gets disorienting and makes things complicated. So. But the, Russian, the Russian, <laughs> Russians, the Russians, the Russians chose to uh, have an unmanned turret, which does cut down on um, some weight, maybe. Maybe, because there's not as much to protect. Right. There's no men in there. Right. So all of the the entire crew, it's a three-man crew. They all sit in a armored capsule at the front in the hull. So there's a commander hatch and a driver hatch. Yeah. And then it didn't look to me like the gunner had a hatch. I don't know if they all just kind of got in one hatch or maybe used the two hatches to get in there. But I couldn't really find any images of it. Sure. Also, it's kind of hard to find some accurate blueprints. Yeah, of the obviously. Because it's, it's brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. I mean, there were some, but uh, they all just kind of seemed yeah. incomplete, not super accurate. But any other I technology? Got, got techn right. I don't even know what word I'm trying to go for. <laughs> <laughs> any other technologies that they have pioneered on this tank? Well, the this model has a 125 millimeter smoothbore cannon, yep. and it can fire. Uh, missiles, guided missiles out of that tube also. Really? Uh, but they're also talking maybe in future versions adding 152 millimeter cannon that can fire nuclear projectiles. Wow. It's so, pretty <laughs> intense. Yeah. There's also, uh, so it's it's almost almost like a 50 ton tank, yeah. which is pretty light um, for any modern day tank. Usually they're around 70 tons. Okay. Um, and I think the Russians cut a lot of the weight out just because they claim that they can basically shoot down anything that's fired at it. Right. With hard kill launchers underneath and then soft kill launchers on top for like RPGs. How do those like even that. function? Well, they, I think they just fire an explosive out of out of those tubes at like a shape charge at the incoming right. rounds. So it's a step. It of, of it's a step before kind of before reactive armor. So reactive yeah. armor is kind of on impact, right? Yeah, and this does also have reactive armor uh, in the front on the skirts and then some on top. Okay, but it's kind of hard to illustrate that yeah. really because it's it's actually kind of hard to see. From yeah, it's images. pretty streamlined. Yeah, and there's this cool logo on the side of it. Yeah, it's like a totally a video game logo or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's goofy looking. It's kind of clashing colors, but that's what was in the parade, and that's yeah. really all the information we have. It's never yeah. been in a conflict, um, so we would only speculate what they would have right. printed on the side. Right. So we just went with what's been seen. Um, that star is what's been seen on the T14 before. Absolutely. All right, I guess onto the kit itself, um, just some play features or some, some build features that you'd like to point out. I do. You do. I'm excited. I think y'all are going to be excited Check this also. Out. Bam. You've got springy suspension. It's uh, one of the craziest suspensions that you've done, and it's still really smooth rolling. I, yeah, it is really smooth. Like This is a gloss. <laughs> this is a smooth surface, so it doesn't yeah. have the most traction. but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so That's I think cool. the suspension helps uh, kind of get over the ridges in the track itself too. Um, yeah, and then it's really smooth. And then of course that feature that I usually add in the nice rotating turret, which is fitting because it's unmanned turret. Yeah. <laughs> so and then yeah. this bad boy and hatches open uh, up. Yeah, so that's a simulated uh, cord machine gun. Okay. Um, 
there's nothing I could really do. I couldn't really add a brick arm to illustrate that because this also oops, um, moves up and down All right. and turns like that. This can also turn. It's really difficult though. Sort of I believe board. you. Oh, there it does. Okay. <laughs> it's just on a stud, so everything articulates um, a little bit on the tank. And so, yeah, the uh, opening hatch there. Opening hatches. So, there's also a way to get. You can fit two men in the hull. You didn't show me this. Why, weren't, why didn't you show me this? Because you know, I wanted you me. to be surprised during the video. So, <laughs> you can fit I'm a surprised. Drive. You can also pull this. Uh, piece off and you can fit a driver. Can you lift it up so you can see inside of there? So you can fit a driver here nice. and you can fit the commander there, kind of lean them back and they fit with helmets. Oh, cool. So I can't quite fit three guys, but many figures are hard to fit in anything. Yeah. So we got two guys in there. Mm -hmm. um, comes with one tank commander. Comes with one tank commander. So this is a brand new design that I came out with. Um, we're testing out a new Digiflora pattern. Yeah. It's kind of like the Russian um, Armed Forces universal camouflage. They're trying to use this across all branches of the military. Um, man, it's a really complicated pattern. Um, it's a digital pattern, really small pixels on it, and I tried to capture it. Um, yeah, it turned out pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I think. You like it. Great. You like it. I do like it. <laughs> I'm spinning them around. I think everyone else is going to like it, too. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a, that's a new color for us, I think, the dark green. Yeah, I don't know if we've done a printing. And dark green's pretty difficult to print on, but... Yeah, I think it turned out great. Cool. Thanks, Cody. You're welcome. I think your tank <laughs> turned out great. Well, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you'd like to point out? Or, uh... I don't think so. I mean, it's just super fun. It's a pretty simple build, aside yeah. from the rubber bands, uh, the rubber band portion of it. The highly difficult rubber bands. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I don't know. No, they're not, they're not bad. It's, it's different. It's different for us. Um, I've, I've done this myself personally in the past, having rubber band suspension, but I think it's a first for Brickmania. Nice. So, a lot of fun. Yeah, cool. That tough. is the episode. Right, Cody? Yeah. Right? Yeah. For more information, check out brickmania.com. Thank you very much for watching. How fast? <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, no! No! <laughs> oh, that wasn't so bad. <laughs>